Hello folks, welcome back today. No funny, clever intros or anything. This is far too serious for that. We're going to talk about Jeremy Fragrance. What on earth is going on with Jeremy Fragrance at the moment? I am perplexed. Before we do that, don't forget at Norton & Wilson, my brand there, we have an amazing offer on to get all four fragrances for just $380, including the wonderful Bon Viveur, great fragrance for the springtime. My personal favourite from our brand of the great perfumes made by our perfumer, John Stephen. Okay, Jeremy Fragrance. So I saw a few posts on Reddit and stuff and... Uh, about what the heck's going on with his channel, has he lost it kind of thing. So he had like four or five videos in a row in a day or two, all called Best Women's Fragrances. So I don't, why would you do that? And today I looked on his channel, there's only like four, five, six actual videos, apart from, you know, long form videos on his YouTube channel in the last four months or something. So he's, he makes videos every day over a minute, the normal long form ones, and then deletes them. Why is he doing that? I do not know. I looked at one video, uh, one of the most recent ones, he's got two videos up as I speak, top 10 fragrances for men, exactly the same title, exactly the same list. Why? I don't understand why you would do that. Slight, you know, he speaks slightly differently in each one. Let's have a look at this slightly bizarre video. Good day guys, Jeremy Fragrance here, the number one fragrance icon that follows the teachings of Jesus. What are the best fragrances for men? Allure Sport Extreme, Armani Code Absolute, Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultra Male, Mont Blanc Legend Spirit. My fragrance. I'm struck with lightning. Office for men. Wood for Greatness, Portrait of a Lady. Dylan Blue Parfums de Mali Latin Exclusive and your Savage Elixir. Thank you for watching. Okay, so just over a minute, um, the list, he obviously doesn't give much information, he never has done, or not for many years, about the fragrances, but um, first of all, kicks off with the, the number one fragrance influencer who follows the teachings of Jesus, and that's all well and good and great, but why, what, is that a good idea to put that as a main part of your platform there? Isn't that going to alienate a lot of people, all the people who are not religious, or who follow other religions, he's got loads of followers around, I don't know why does he need to speak about that on his YouTube thing, it seems like a bad idea that's going to alienate people potential sponsors may not want to be associated with someone with a strong religious leaning you know it doesn't make sense I mean good great that he's got strong beliefs and he's you know perhaps it's good he's got principles and he doesn't care if it damages his brand but it seems unwise it seems very unwise then the list and the video itself uh, you know, the bizarre pauses and the facial gurning or whatever that was with when he opened his mouth, something, he seems like a troubled man. He seems like someone who is not entirely, you just sense he's not entirely at ease with himself. Far be it from me to criticise his appearance. He's in fantastic physical shape. You can see that on his TikToks and his Instagrams, which are his main thing, actually. The TikTok is huge, I think, now. Um, and perhaps is more important to him than his, his YouTube, but he just kind of dances and very minimal worth in the TikTok videos, but I guess that's the way TikTok is. He looks in great physical condition, but there's something about him just doesn't look quite as sharp and great as he used to. His hair, you know, I haven't got any hair, so it's not for me to criticize, but I don't know that this slightly lank looking uh, hair look works for him. It doesn't look as sharp as he used to. I, I, I don't know what he's thinking there. A little bit strange. And I don't know, something about that white shoe, suit looked, it used to look really crisp and sh sharp and he used to dress really sharp and it it almost looks like it's, it hasn't been ironed or something sometimes. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, you know, this is not coming from a position of someone who wants to attack Jeremy or who's jealous. I'm just, I'm always interested in the fragrance community. He's the biggest online influencer. And uh, I've always, I have always, since I started the channel, done the odd video about Jeremy or about other uh, YouTubers. I don't always just sit here and talk about fragrances, okay? So that's me. You can, some people think I shouldn't do that, but there you go. What do you think about what's going on? So he's just got these very few videos that stay on his YouTube. And we can see that when he does leave one up, they're really weird, I'm afraid. Um, and then the other stuff that he does, he just dances and stuff. In, in what way is he any more a fragrance influencer? He gives almost no information about fragrances. And yet, I believe he's done very well in business. He's, he's very well off, I, I believe. Uh, and there'll be various, you know, as, as long as you've got a TikTok platform where the video, videos are getting this million, one million, two million views, five million, uh, I, I, I guess people will pay you. But I don't see him. It's weird, like... He doesn't obviously sponsor us. He's not sponsored by anyone. You know, I watch all kinds of other videos in other genres about current affairs or, you know, the 
culture wars and stuff. And, you know, they're always saying, hey, you, you want to use this Nord VPN or you want to check out this brand of coffee or this fantastic um, meat supply company and they send you meat to put in your fridge. And say, you know, they're all sponsored. He doesn't seem to be sponsored by anyone. And surely he could be and, and could make some money that way. I, it, it's not obvious to me how he makes his money. I know he's got his fragrance brand. But there was some, they were going to be winding it up, but I don't know if they are. He still talks about the fragrances, which from what I've sampled are pretty good, very mass appealing, mainstream kind of fragrances, but they're decent. I'm just confused. He seems, tr this is my point, he seems troubled. He does not seem to be the smart and successful man of old, although clearly he, he's financially done very well and he's a big phenomenon. Also, there was a recent thing, he, he a few months back, he got in trouble because he appeared at a, a rally in Germany or an event which apparently was attended by very right-wing political figures. And this, of course was probably not a very good idea and then I believe because of this he had a TV show believe it or not a TV show on German TV which I think was pulled because of that correct me if I'm wrong he, that so that was a really bad move and I think he also lost sponsorships with a German supermarket because of this now again I don't know if he was really into the politics of these people but it seems a pretty dumb move to go to something and publicly put that on your Instagram uh, if, if you're not really into that politics, or, or and even if you are, I don't think you should, it's really a bad idea to make that public, you're going to alienate so many people. Does Jeremy not have some management at this point with the size of his, his personality in social media and online? Surely he needs some management and someone out there to tell him this is not a good idea. He seems a lost soul. He talked about before maybe wanting to get married and have children and I think he... He looks empty and lost and perhaps rather lonely and alienated. He somehow doesn't come across as being happy within himself. And he doesn't come across necessarily as a, a really, really likable person by his behaviour. But I think this is, you know, I'm not criticising him really. There's something very sad and empty, I think, in Jeremy. I, 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 you know, I hope he doesn't take offence. I'm sure he doesn't watch my videos. I, I, I am fully supportive of him. We all owe the fact that YouTube fragrance videos and Instagram and everything are uh, um, as much of a thing as they are, partly to him because he really had the charisma to put it out there and make brands see that this is a really big growing part of how they can sell their fragrances. So we all owe Jeremy something in a way. Uh, and I definitely am acutely aware of that. You know, in a way, I got the idea to start my own fragrance brand thanks to seeing him do it. Mine's on a much smaller scale, but perhaps I never would have done it if it wasn't for him. So we all owe him a lot. I'm not anti-Jeremy, but I find his let's not say decline but his transition from where he was four five six years ago to where he is now perhaps he's much more wealthy and successful in a way but he looks a less happy uh, less together human being and I do I've said this before and I, I, I'm not trying to be a harbinger of doom in any way but I just I, I hope we never see some horrible event where Jeremy really has a breakdown or something bad happens but I can't help feeling those people around him need to kind of intervene and, and where is this going? It's it's it's. A, I don't want to be seeing some kind of documentary on the rise and fall of Jeremy Fragrance on YouTube where something catastrophic has happened. And I just, I get the feeling he's teetering on the brink every day of some kind of insanity or breakdown or, or, or major incident. And I don't mean that as anything that I take any pleasure in. I hope he's okay. I'm confused by his content. When you think how big he is, he could have made a YouTube channel where he still talked articulately to some extent, but in a very populist way about the fragrances and still had the nice looking ladies on or whatever. But he's gone down this insane route. Does get him a lot of views on TikTok, but on YouTube, you know, people like Curly Fragrance and some of the female view reviewers already get more views per video than him. I don't think they have more subscribers. So he's no longer the biggest on YouTube, but he is the biggest phenomenon still in the fragrance influence world. But I, I got to tell you guys, I'm worried what do you think about it what's happening with jeremy fragrance please help me out i'll leave it there thanks ever so much for watching i'll see you in the next video my wristwatch of the day is a rolex just like jeremy has a gold rolex i've got a steel one it's a gmt master lovely i will see you in the next video remember whatever you're doing in life let's project and although sometimes life can stink at least we can always smell good bye bye